Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I'm going to start, as always, with an oracle card reading, um, and then we'll go into the extended, which is a full tarot card spread that extends, expands upon, and personalizes the energies that we pick up on in the oracle cards. That link is always in the description box right beneath this video. The oracle card reading is not a horoscope. It is done with oracle cards, and it's an intuitive energy reading. So it applies to Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, whatever Sagittarian energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. I no longer put dates on these videos because honestly, nobody seemed to care. <laughs> um, so what I do have to say about that is that there is still a new video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the presses, please subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow, which I greatly appreciate. Um, but you'll also get it as soon as I upload it if you ring that bell and uh, turn on notifications. So, Sag, let's get into this. Interesting. Um, interesting. Sagittarius energy. Watch your words. Ooh. Is somebody getting on your damn nerves? Is somebody is somebody frustrating you? Are you about to pop off at somebody? Listen, we're all going through it now. We all love who we love. We want our families. We care about them. But being stuck inside with one person for a long period of time can irritate the you-know-what out of anybody. And Sagittarius, you are infamous, and you know it's true, for just saying what's on your mind. And that's part of your charm. It really, really is. It can get wear, uh, weary. It can get, it could, it get, uh, it could wear you down. It could wear somebody else down. So this is, but this is you making a decision. Like you, it's almost like you can feel yourself constantly swallowing what you want to say. Maybe for the first time in your life, being very, very aware of the fact that um, somebody is listening and then, and somebody it has direct access to choking you every single night. So this is a sense of, you intentionally getting an like being more introspective and doing something that I don't think you ever even thought of before, which is censoring yourself. This is self censorship because this is the energy crowning your reading. This is deciding to censor what you think be, before you say it, counting to 10 making a decision to not say everything that's on your mind because you, you can feel the impending explosion if you do this is a wonderful opportunity for you because it even though it is part of your charm it can be that one thing that that one thing that makes people angry with you that one because th everybody for for real you guys are just the most popular of the i know i know leo doesn't want to hear this but you guys really are the most popular of the Zodiac. You just, you just make friends so easily. Everybody wants to be around you. You're charming. Somehow you're blessed with luck. Like something, things always work out for you when they wouldn't work out for anybody else. I know it doesn't seem that way, but it seems that way to everybody else. <laughs> so this is a sense of, this is that one caveat where you just sort of say what's on your mind without thinking of other people's feelings first. And that could really start to wear down on your relationships. And it may have already in some ways uh, help like taking a toll in past relationships. This is an incredible opportunity, therefore, for you to start realizing what you're about to say before you let it out of your mouth. This is like that exercise in strengthening, strengthening the weakest part of you. This is the opportunity and it's, it's not even being forced on you. You're self implementing this. So that means that you want the strength. You're changing. Transformation is beautiful. A beautiful thing. Transformation, the truth, the truth of your character, getting bigger, getting more mature, you know, realizing to fly above it instead of straight into it, be more malleable, be more flexible, stay above it, remain more objective. This is Aquarian energy. Yes, speak the truth. Absolutely. Um, truth transcends illusion. So um, it's almost like even if you're trying to watch your words and trying to watch what you say, eventually it's going to come out anyway. It's going to come out. But hey, at least you didn't say it. So now you don't have to get in trouble for it.
<laughs> there you go. There you go. This is like that one way, that one caveat. You always get yourself into trouble. You're learning how to like stay away from it. And like this could be what changes your entire life. Why? Because if you don't get yourself into trouble by saying things that, oh, hold on, I'm sorry, make people doubt you or make people irritated with you, then guess what? Sky's the limit. This is that moment. This is that moment to learning to, to like self Sensor. Uh, tend to the small things. Maybe something. Oh, okay. I understand. Something has been building for a long time. In other words, you have been bracing yourself and wanting to tell somebody about themselves for a long time and something has been building and it's about to come out. And this is why you're intentionally censoring yourself because you know that you're about to explode, but you don't want to explode because where is the explosion going to go? We're all stuck inside with each other. You're going to get blown up too. But this is the energy of that tension building. You just, it's almost like it's on the tip of your tongue, but you can't say it. Now, this could also not have to do anything with quarantine. It could have to do with the fact that you're in a work situation or you're in a personal situation or you're in a situation where you are intentionally self-centering, but you're about to explode because it keeps, it keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. The tension keeps building. Be very playful. This is a sense of lightening up. You know, um, using your words maybe very cleverly in terms of making somebody laugh or, or turning the criticism into a joke, figuring out how to make it funny, how to be playful, how to turn it into something that is silly so that people, that so that you can say it or that you can confront it or you can bring it to the surface, keeping things on the surface. In other words, keep it shallow. Don't make it personal. Keep it impersonal, but it's let it out. Figuring out how to say something in a way that people can digest it as opposed to shoving it down their throat. Take a leap of faith. This is, you won't get lucky. And this is essentially just jumping right into this new strategy of yours and really under, like having faith that it's going to work out for you. And you're going to be lucky. This is Jupiterian energy. This is Jupiter. This is luck. This is, believe me, you. it's going to work out for you. Things are... It's all going to work out. This is lucky, getting lucky. Now, where is this luck going to play out? Take a leap of faith. Oh, I asked where this luck is going to uh, play out. And Sagittarius, cards just plop on the table. Learn from the past. Ooh, this makes it a little bit deeper, doesn't it? This is seven, something that you've been creating, something that you've wanted to create. I think it's creating a lesson, is understanding and learning, having learned your lesson um, because of past experiences. This is Taurus energy. You could uh, It could be stubborn energy, but it's steadfast, it's reliable, and it's strong. And it tells me that you're going to get through. You're going to get through a, a current circumstance or situation Timing is perfect. This lesson is coming to you just at the right time. The light bulb has gone on just at the right time for you to bam, understand it and put it to use right when you need it. It's like you needed the ingredient or everything was going to explode. It's like MacGyver finding that switch just at the last minute. That's the way it's going to happen. It's like perfect timing that all of a sudden this clicks and you understand you're understanding the right lesson for the right moment. And that's how you're getting through. It's like, once again, your incomparable luck. Uh, trust in divine detours. Uh, seven. It's literally like you're being led down this path by divine intervention. This is who? This is your energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Being wily, being not, not necessarily tricky, but... Um, making, making the most out of a difficult situation, improvising, just going with the flow, enjoying the chaos, not letting it scare you like bombs bursting in midair. It's almost like let the wind hit your face type of thing. <laughs> like it's this energy of, of you just going with the flow as the chaos rolls around you. And because you can do that, it's actually saving your life. But it's, it's just a reiteration of what I'm saying. Everything happened just at the right time. Everything hit just at the right time. There's going to be a curve. There's going to be a detour. There's going to be a change in you. Take it. Jump on the opportunity. Jump on the opportunity. This could also have to do something with the World Wide Web. Maybe online, going online. Jump on the opportunity. Building something online. Um, jumping on the chaos. 
jumping on the opportunity that is in front of you because of the chaos, because of the chaotic situation? Like, can you add humor to what's going on, but still tell the truth at the same time? Find a way, you know, my English teacher, this is uh, what I'm thinking. My English teacher told me something that I could never forget. And that was um, that the fool or the jester, the court jester, was the only one that could make fun of the king. If anybody else dared to make fun of a king, they would get their head cut off. And I'm sure some jest court jesters got their heads cut off. But it was that divine right of the fool to be able to criticize even the most tricky, complex situations. But as long as they could twist it and wrap it up in humor, they could say anything. And this is the world changing. And humor being your device being that mechanism by which you can serve up the truth in a very clever way that doesn't get you in trouble bring a gentle touch you're doing it to help ease tensions you're doing it to help bring love back in the world you look at this is the energy of nine again you have nines all over your reading something is coming to a head something is coming out it's the truth you're share i literally you're sharing the truth with the world but you're in a way that's going to make everybody laugh and ease the tension that's building around you. This could be just in your household. It doesn't have to be the fucking world. It's just in your household sometimes. It's just like it's going to help bring things back to that state of love and innocence and purity and truth and and having potential to grow and, and nurturing because this is very Virgo energy. So it's cultivating the climate of you're safe here. You're safe here because we can laugh. You're safe here because like in other words, finding a safe place or creating a safe place for people to say what's on their mind, but do it in a funny way so that it's not offending anybody. And this is sing your own song. This is your stabilizing energy. This is the caged bird singing. This is the bird being liberated. This is freedom. This is Gemini energy once again, singing your own praises, finding a way to communicate your message in a way that people are going to listen to. Sagittarius, this is magis, um, mastery of communication. So this is your found, foundational um, your root. This is the, the root of your reading. So what does this mean for you? I almost feel like you're building a network or like a new, uh, funny or die type of like, it's almost like that. It's like, what are you doing to, to like help the world relieve tension to, to liberate people, to free people, to bring back the music, bring back the song, bring back the happiness. I feel like this is your focus right now. This is that energy of really feeling good, really feeling free, really feeling happy, really feeling like, like opening and broadening and, and, and taking an opportunity, um, sing your own song to be able to be yourself in a way that everybody wants to listen to. Let me flip the camera around. We'll, we'll review the energy. Hold on. I actually want to draw a few more cards too, um, because the grounding energy is usually three cards. So I kind of want two more cards to come out. Let's see if they do. Nope. This is about liberation. This whole, this is all about, um, being set free. you hiding on me? Take time out. Healing. This is shamanic energy. Once again, energy of nine coming out. Like it's, it's interesting. It's the canary in the bear. It's this fierceness and ferocity being dealt in a gentle way. It's also the taming of the beast. So this could be the beast that's challenging us all right now, but it's healing. Understand that bear is healing energy too. So it's this, this truth, this sharing of your ideas, this, this way that you say things or phrase things that's helping to really rip apart 
all the demons that are chasing us now because bear energy is shamanic it's also it's 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 defensive it's almost like the warrior medicine man the warrior of the the, the of of the shaman the, the medicine man medicine man warrior that's what it is so you're dealing with the tough stuff it's almost like um you know remember how live aid with robin williams Whoopi goldberg and billy crystal right it's almost like that it's almost like live aid not Live Aid. That was with Freddie Mercury and, and all the bands. What was it? Um, la, um, what, what did they do? Comic Relief. Comic Relief. Wasn't that what it was called? Um, that, that, like, relieving, like, healing through laughter. Healing through laughter. That divine fool presence of healing through laughter and, and letting laughter be the conduit to say what you need to say, but keep it light enough. Keep it light enough to be digested and to actually help people, heal people, and change the atmosphere into something that is nurturing and caring and has hope again. And you're doing this through experience and through wisdom. You're not doing it uh, out of being a jerk or being a fool or selfishness. You, you know what the world needs right now. So this is that sort of comic relief energy. It's beautiful energy, actually. Good on you, Sag. Um, I'm going to dive deeper. Let's continue this journey over on the extended. And also your romance reading is going to be there, too. I hope to see you over there, Sagittarius. The link is below.